Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Play of England in Europa Universalis 4, including the Conquest of Paradise DLC, which has given us a random generated new world. And we have found Canada, and it's quite different in shape already, we can already tell. So that's going to be fun to explore soon. Um, I might have to help... Okay, now nah, the forces from Tyrone should be able to defeat them or not are they kidding me you guys get on this ship sail your bloody ass over to Meath oh sail your bloody ass over to Conyat and just destroy these folks quickly swiftly deal with them and there we are wow they they, they are quite strengthly Probably because we didn't have a leader either, so, but... Well, rebels in Ireland are still rebels in the UK, or, well, Great Britain. Doing it again. Anyway, um, let's move you back there. So... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get myself a conquistador and explore. So, we're gonna get a conquistador. It's actually military power, which is good. And that would be Stephen Brock. So you are going to go no leader. I want a supplement of five. Five thousand of these regiments it should be enough. I want you to have Stephen Brock. I want you on the ship. Do I want all the ships to go there? No, not really. I definitely don't need the light ships there. So now you guys are going into the coast of Iceland for now. I'll probably send them, put them off in Beothuk and then go south from there. Uh, Switzerland, yeah, fine. I'll put some in Savoy for now. Okay, you are here. No um, attrition. And why is he sailing oddly? Oh, of course, because that's still a coastal zone. That's smart. Okay, let's put some more in that one then. Cabot Strait. Oh, he's actually going through the new zone. Interesting. It, it's wait, what? Ah, uh, it's interesting. Ah, uh, really? He dies. God damn it! Uh, I at least know what our scores are going to put put into now. Hello, Nipigon. Okay, colonial range is 378 to reach it. Transport dudes, get off. Uh, it will take until March 3rd. You guy, uh, discipline plus one, yes. Yes, I will take him. I will need to send them back very soon. Okay, they can come back to London. Okay, ah, we discover Acadia. Okay, and you actually don't have any attrition, but it's Arctic, so let's start moving south. And yes, we have a conquistador about 17 years before Columbus ever got here. Okay, let's just discover the coast first. April 15th. Okay, we actually discovered the area because of our ship sailing by. Let's see. Um, April 30th. No longer claim Munster, so we have no more Casas Valley against Cognard, but that's fine. Get Savoy. Saskatchewan. Wow, that's a western province. Uh, let's see. Let's move there and see what we can find. 12th of July. A Pequit. A Pequit. No natives found yet, by the way. And no attrition for these guys, which is fun. Everything in England is just proceeding. Eriksfjord, nice. Um, okay, so actually, no, that's a better one. Let's discover Canada. It's quite empty place, apparently. Um, constables, constables are giving me a little bit more money. Essex, 1.6. Yorks are 1.6. Huh, good base tax in England, basically. 15th of August, we explore some more. This is actually a really beneficial place to send our uh, explorers to, because it's very close in relative terms. 374, we really only will need level 7 Diplotech. 
Cardinal Savoy took it back. Okay, now we take it again. Micmac. Battle of Micmac. Okay, we discover... Oh, hello, there's more coast over there. Uh, you guys can just go further south-ish, basically. Uh, we'll discover that later, but I mean, we don't have any attrition here, so they're just reinforcing their ass. So, um, let's just get a dock in the meantime in London, just to have everything built in that city. And we're going to be focusing on lots of docks everywhere anyway. I know it costs some diplomatic power. Okay, we discovered Kodesh. Let's move further south. The question is if this is just one small continent or if it's actually... Well, we discovered Ottawa. Or if it's still connected to the next colonial region. And Ottawa, okay, let's move in here. Fortune Bay... Hello, Canada. No one else yet here. Still no native tribes. Interesting. Um, let's gain the full diplomatic power, actually. Getting to the tech faster is going to be fun. Okay. Connecticut, I believe. Change his loyalty once again. So we're getting him back. We could do the idea right now, which would give us global settler increase. Which is, of course, what we need instantly after we get to the tech level needed. But we're going to need the colonial range at level uh, at the level 7 anyway. Um, let's see if we can go back to the region mode. Colonial regions. Ah, yes, we have found the western... No, wait, what, which node is this? Let's just... Colonial Eastern America. It moves a bit away from Portugal, which is something I really love. We should be able to settle at least the entirety of Canada before anyone else gets there. Except at peace. Oh, yeah, it's also, of course, important. There is a second settler to be gotten, of course. Uh, which is also something we like. And we're probably not getting diplomatic idea here yet. Even though I do really want... Nah, I'm just not going to get the idea yet. Even though, even if we discover it early, then we're not getting it. So, still no native tribes. Huh. That's... Yeah, they do get randomized like insanely different than they get are in the actual normal world because there they're of course set towards where they are supposed to be here they are not okay so let's see colonel change back to savoy well at least our army is not at all phased by these uh, of course this east bermuda sea so, unless we find natives. Yes, actually, we are closest. Wow, we are closest to North America. That's so helpful. And, yeah, that's really good. Okay, there we go. Tech up, trade range up, trade efficiency up. Good. I'm gonna need more merchant in the future as well, though. Onondaga. Oh, hello. Here it moves a bit further east. Not a lot, though. So, Portugal might be very unlucky. They might, yeah, they might be forced to go by Africa in this case. Huh. Actually, while we're busy, so you there will go here and then sail back to London. So, we have at least discovered it. And I need these two for now and start trading again in the Bordeaux node. So, we at least have someone trading there. Okay, good. There might be islands here. Not big chance, but it seems to be a very big continent. Kentucky is arrived. Oh. No, that actually is coast. Yeah, Kentucky. Animist settler chance, 9%. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a chance for increasing it. So, yeah, it's, it's different, of course, from EU3. And I still have the most experience with settling... The New World from EU3. Okay, constables, anyone on 1.6? No, we have some 1.4s. Which are, in the end, stronger than the temples. Temples is a, at plus 3 stability, they're 1.35. Okay, that's Alabama. Does that mean that we're in a different area again? It still seems that there is land on this side, but it's... Might just be a very small. So is this a different zone already? Uh, that's colonial regions. Yes, we are arriving in a different zone. So the USA would be founded in this area. Interesting. Colonial Eastern America. 
we are just moving along here because it's fun and discovering the world so we now have found the colonial caribbean colonial the caribbean and there's a guantanamo is a land province i shit you not random generated world everybody havana is landlocked oh yes havana is landlocked um sure thing why not administrative tech up saint vincent once again let's there's another a region down here actually which we're gonna discover Teutonic order are you kidding me let's push some more in there and just get them under control Cher wait what colonial Colombia and there's the Cherokee province the Bahamas is freaking huge okay um, anyway it seems like yes we are at an advantage in colonizing definitely um, let's go back and discover the entirety of the Eastern American region. Wow, Onondaga is huge as well. Incredible. Actually, hang on. Our colonial range is still not sufficient, is it? No, we need definitely need level 7 tech for that one. Uh, 62%. Scotland is doing fine. Oh, we're almost positive with Scotland now. Really loving that. Opposing military schools. Dang. Um, let's do defense. Let them come to us. Let's build that 1.4. Stability drop. Not the most nice thing to get. But I suppose it happens. Okay. Ah, go. It is actually... Ah, Shawnee. That's fine. Uh, back to colonial regions. That's this one again. Okay. Still moving on. Colonial. This is like a huge continent, basically. Interesting, really. Huh. And for now, it's all for me. Uh, what was our air? Our air is even better than the one we have now, isn't he? Yeah. 451 to 453. Oh my, so good. France is going back into Brittany. Just making sure he gets it all. Wyandot. I believe that the USA is not going to be that big, or it must extend here in the north a bit further. Yeah, it's got a few lesser uh, nodes, it appears. Um, let's look at the trade nodes. Okay, Chesapeake, Gulf of St. Lawrence, definitely going to push that into... The North Sea also goes to London, which is actually really good. That change, oh, I love that change. It used to go from the North Sea. Um, I might have gone into. No, actually, I don't remember. Might have not. Might have already always gone into London, but colonial regions. Let's look again. Could build something again. Okay. Ah, we have more America. Just Penny Royal. All these names are also a little bit more random. But still, no native tribes. That's... I find it odd. They should still be there. Or we have a little bit bugged out world. Actually, or is this... No, there is a native tribe. Yes. Because that's a border. That's not actually a um, coast. Really? Again, Teutonic Order. Do you not realize we have a very high... Abenakis! Hello! Uh, back to the colonial region. Okay. And there doesn't appear to be a tribe there. But we have found our first native tribes. And they seem to be bunched up. Interestingly enough. Let's discover. Well, we don't want to really send in anything there yet. So... I mean... Why would we conquer it yet? We don't even have a colony. 275. Yes, this is actually in the middle of a couple of colonies, so... Okay. You know what? Just move around. I don't need to go through their territory just yet. Wow. Welcome to America. We've got a huge continent, basically. And we're still just killing all the natives that we encounter. Well, they're not really the natives. They're just 
Yeah, they are natives. They are just uh, the smaller tribes, I guess. Mobile Alabama, basically. The Appalachies, Chippewa. Hey, hello, we have... They just migrated there. I mean, just literally just now. They are actually migrating, which is amazing. Uh, yearly Prestige. Yeah, I guess it's the only one we can get right now. And they still want the points. Okay, so we are actually at the coast. That's ocean. We cannot move into it, but we can move there. We're going to discover everything here. And then we'll see once our uh, naval reach is... Obtained for the colonist. Well, we're gonna settle Ohio. Probably gonna get uh, first coast and then go inland, of course. Uh, another constable, probably optional, possible. Um, since there's nothing more at 1.4, only at 1.2, uh, it's actually best to switch back to the temple because the constable does increase the temple's income as well so Essex is getting a temple that might also be why the constable is already stronger in those specific areas though local pretender rises are you kidding me Thomas Fairfax really the Fairfax family how is our maintenance it's perfectly fine okay um you go first into five and then go there wow that's turning around Right eyes. Hello, 10th of March, there we are. And then go back north again. That's a small province, Cayuga. Whoa. Battle of Fife, wiping them out. All of them. Northumberland, yep, they are dead as well. <laughs> we found Mohawk. Yeah, it's going to be fun. If we discover a lot of territory here, we can actually start following wow there we go push more points uh, there we go so then we can follow their migration back and forth hello no wait that's the trade note i thought that was a tribe moving in there but it's not keep moving yeah we can invest in a new area but of course first i want to get to there also, that's actually good. Um, oh, yes, the cardinal we were putting all of our points in just became our cardinal. Tech, uh, military tech, I will gladly take it to level 6. How is our tech um, actually going? Maximum tech with Scotland. Well, I mean relation, well. Tech is still behind. France is at 667. We are at 656, so we are two techs behind on France but it appears that Castile is at four diplomatic tech as well as Portugal because they're trying to push their ideas and go through Africa oh the new world might be completely going to us in this case Algon Quinn ah nice we find some more areas I guess that's where we're running now and Byzantine refugees Tech cost minus 10% and gain prestige or lose prestige and we lose some points. Well, the 10% cost for like, what is it, 30 years? I did not look at it right there, but it's for 30 years. Yeah, the 10% cost will definitely work itself out, especially because we're trying to tech at the moment. I'm going to save up some money right now so we can get... Uh, <laughs> A certain building, an embassy. I can use another diplomat for sure. Okay, Hot Shalega as well. So basically, oh, hello. Now we're running south again with this guy. No, we're not yet. So, you need to, of course, explore this as well because it's so close. Inu, good. So, I'm going to try and save up for a embassy, and it, it does cost a thousand two cards. Might take a while. Yeah, the new world so far. Tech. Oh, Diplop Tech. 438. How much do we need for level 7? 472. Uh, at our current rate, we need 460. Divided by 90 is 52 months. That was easy because 45 is divisible, divisible by 9. So we have natives on the left. Uh, let's go here. And check it out. So yes, this is nice. 
Oh, hello. We actually discover more sea land just because we walked past it. Hey, nice. North America as we know it. Colonial Louisiana is there. Okay. This is interesting. Caribbean is landlocked. That's the silliest thing, actually. Wow. So how many coastal provinces? This is coastal. So one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, seven coastal provinces, and we are probably the only colony to be the USA. Well, there are more colonies, which is faster. Um, 698, 540, yeah, definitely the bottom one. Uh, execute him for treason, yes, please. I'd lo rather lose admin power than something else. Unique buildings, embassy, cost a thousand six because of, well inflation yeah yeah we we instantly sent our forces back so oh of course they're not repair yeah okay i need to repair them though so let's see when are they all repaired two more months i assume then we're dropping fleet maintenance back down again oh my we're almost done integrating tyrone 16th of August, wow, it's a long walk. So actually, let's start integrating on Connacht. Because we're getting our um, diplomat back anyway. Uh, 97, that's 15 years right now. Uh, Scotland doing fine. Still very pissed off at us. Because of that was at war thing. Uh, we are increasing, of course. Uh, royal marriage. Yeah, hostile attitude. That should be different. Oh well, it will be a while, but we will one day get Scotland. Maybe we will be, wow, it's quite possible we will be colonizing the New World before we actually form uh, the Great Britain, actually, right now, as it stands. Uh, let's just keep him running and discovering. I want to keep building stuff, but okay, we can definitely lower fleet maintenance now. Five, six, nine. I don't want to lower uh, army maintenance right now because our army here constantly needs reinforcing. 19th of December, come on. Come on, tech. 465, we need 472, so now we need 298. Getting there. Hello, let's go here first then, actually. There we go. Uh, here we have it. Okay, we have 35. What's max? 66. Okay, but we can actually overtake Austria here. There we go. Probably will instantly retake it, but... Oh, well, Lesser Antilles. I just don't... This is one ginormous, humongous continent. Denmark, the Knights, Lorraine, Lithuania... Ah, okay. Ah, that's actually also a coastal province. Tuscarora and Chir Wow, that's two of them, actually. A great man died already. Wow. Um, reinforce speed. Actually good for us. Because we're trying to explore Quito. That's actually Peru. So yeah, this is indeed Colombia. <laughs> this is just one gigantic continent. Um, admin tech level 7 that will in unlock the Republic. Not bad. Also, integrated Tyrone. Next mission. Spread our culture. Construct a grand fleet. More or equal heavy ships than 30. It's a bit expensive right now. Um, Papal controller. How is that going? Yeah, that's. Right now it's mostly luck based, so I don't want to. Culture to Meath. 10 diplomatic power. Nope. It probably costs more to do it, so that's not going to happen. Uh, let's check on Meath. Yeah, 125. So we would be paying 115 just to get a mission completed. I'm going to leave that idea group open for a long time. Just to be sure. Wait a minute. Oh, very good. Interesting. Okay, trade ship. Go to Cornwall. 
you're also a trade ship, go to Cornwall. Bigger fleet, yes. Uh, alliance over from Utrecht. Um, um, no, don't need it. Denmark is... Regency, Pretender rises. Does the does it continue then? I guess it does. It doesn't say here. Hello. Oh no. Norway is. Sweden is independent. Or it has the exactly the same dynasty as. Oh god. It's a bit odd. We'll notice at one point in the future then. What happens with Sweden? But they seem to be independent, but they have the exact same leader running around there. Okay, we're going west from here. Pamliko. Uh, yes, England is expanding. We got... Hey, we have 3,000 that we don't really need right now. I know, it's not coming back to manpower, but... Yay, we doubled our trade fleet. Send them into Bordeaux. You two get together. 15 big ships. What's our fleet limit actually right now? No, we need to building. Units, naval force. We could actually get to um, the total that we need. Uh, gain explorer with 20 tradition. Get early Carrick in. Ooh. Sure thing, but problem is I don't want another leader. He is... He is a lot better though, so... Hmm. Um, Byron, you'll be replaced by Braddock. Um, Byron, you're going away. Actually, huh, our military power is not going well, so we're going to get rid of him as well. Where are you? All the way in Bogota. Oh, hello, there's actually an island here. Wow. Let's discover what kind of native is running here. Running this show. Find some more natives. Uh, South American nav natives? I'm not sure if the Aztecs and such have the exploration stuff either. Oh, hello. Yes, the Dabnagi migrated. The Inca. Interesting. They... Oh yeah, only OPMs. One province miners can actually migrate, so... It's also a thing. Um, still at 34, but... I'm gonna save up a bit, actually. For now. Come on, Diplo power, so we can start the cultivation of North America before anyone else. Yeah, Spain and Portugal got fucked because the shape is just in my advantage over here. And of course, that we have the Western House already under firm control. Also means that I'm going to send this army north to uh, support my colonist, of course. Once we get the tech done. So that's actually pretty soon. Yeah, the massive mega continent. But here's a tip, actually, of the continent. Um, let's check at the region mode. It's still Colombia. So we still don't have not found La Plata or anything, which is uh, also quite important to note. There's still La Plata, there's still Brazil. Support middle class bureaucrats, 50 admin power. Sure, I'll take it. Does mean I have to send in the troops, but uh -huh. I'll take ah yes the Carrick. Combine you there. Get on a ship. Uh, ship, come over here. Wait, what? Oh, oh right. I was like, hang on. This army shouldn't be this small, but the rest of the army is right over here. Um, can I actually remove him right now? I can do this. And I, because I kind of need them to have a... Fine, go into Meath. I kind of need the leader to be present for the bonus attack. Idea can be invested, but I'm going to need the tech first. And you no leader, go back to the army across the ocean. The army of Scotland. There are Scotsmen basically exploring the new world. Okay, we're gonna explore this little bit of coast. It appears that this is the end of the world with the Incas over here. Perfectly fine. Maracaibo, next. Go here. Uh, terra incognita. So like this. 
should be doable. Let's follow them. Oh, that's then we suddenly don't need to go through these because we've discovered them. That's always advantageous. Invest in idea, invest in a group. I want the tech right now. Turks, uh, the Turks Islands, yep. Islands that are landlocked. It happens. Okay, come on, more tech. Almost there, almost there. Three out of four diplomatic relations, by the way. What do we discover here? St. Thomas and Trinidad. Okay, and this will f probably be the last one we discover. Maybe go like this. And then you get your ass over here because we are attacking. And this will show us the increase in our trade naval mode. And we're going to go, of course, as far south as possible, which will be Stadacona. 152 days. Here we go. The colonization of North America has begun. Where are you running? One too far, actually. Damn it. So run here. Run there. Run to Stadacona. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going across. Uh, this is a oddly shaped... North America and South America and the Caribbean because region colonial regions what anyway we are on our way to America everybody I want to thank you all for watching I will see you guys later